look at ourselves like the uh, Denver Broncos defense, uh, secondary, and that's how we're trying to take that approach. Is it any different for you being kind of the guy in, in, um, in cornerback without the Dory? Man, it's um, it's all of a team effort. You know, we got a we got a lot of guys in the secondary. Chris Hawkins, all our secondary, Jack Jack Jones, um, Marvell Tell. You see Marvell balling today. And, you know, we all we all the guy. What areas has Jack improved? In? That, that dude's outstanding uh, coverage wise. You know, he, he, his eyes are control. He play more control. And, you know, he's very instinctual. So that's what sets, sets him apart. He says he wants to win the Heisman again this year. Do, do you like that? I believe it. Uh -huh. no, I don't never put no limitations on myself, so I'm never going to put a limitation on my brother. Yeah. What did you guys think when he said that last year? Like, did you guys think it was weird? or? I didn't think it was weird. I feel like if you think it – I feel like you can believe anything. If you if you truly believe it, you can make it happen. Anything is attainable. Anything is – you can make anything happen. A lot of stuff in this world ain't – wasn't created because people thought it couldn't happen. Somebody – believe it could happen and made it happen. What areas are you approaching? Uh, are you a turn attack during fall camp to improve? Uh, you know, uh, really my, uh, my, my press game, I feel like I need to work a little bit more on the press game aspect of things. Um, I need to, uh, it's a lot of stuff. I'm always working and uh, trying to better my game off everything, being a better leader and all those type of things. How much do you need to lead this season? You know, with the door gone, do you feel like that's something that you have to take on as as be a leader in that secondary? Um, yeah, I feel like I could take on a leadership role, but you know, we, it's, it's a team effort. We got a great, we got a whole bunch of leaders on the team. Everybody, we can, we we hold everybody accountable. Everybody hold each other accountable. So we can each consider ourselves leaders in some aspect, in some form. Is there anybody in particular that you're trying to teach up? I mean, I saw you yesterday or Monday working with Jamel a little bit after practice. Is there anybody uh, that you're, you're kind of taking on your wing especially? I'm just trying to help anybody that, need, that wants to help. You know, I, my, when I came here, somebody was blessed to help me when I had the opportunity when I was a freshman. So that's all I'm trying to do is just pass the torch and pass my knowledge along with everybody else. Past couple practices, the defense has had a few interceptions. Yeah. What do you think the deal there? Um, just being, being aggressive. Playing our swag, playing our playing our style of football, and like like we said, we trying to we got to make turnovers to be the best. We trying to be the number one uh, secondary in the nation. We are gonna put it out there like that. Young what? guys, uh, you were a young guy, like you said, at one yeah. point, highly touted guy. You had uh, a couple safeties come in, highly touted. Yeah. Um, for you guys, from a culture standpoint, like how do you reinstate the culture? How do you reinforce the culture with those guys, whether it be on the field or off? The field? Um, you know, we just uh, hold each other accountable. We have certain guidelines and certain things that we we abide by. You feel me in our in our room, and everybody gets the gets the information. And, and the older guys, what we supposed to do is pass that torch and pass that knowledge along to the younger dudes about how we conduct ourselves and how we want to be and what we are trying to create here, which type of atmosphere we trying to create here, especially in that secondary atmosphere. You know, we don't really get a lot of buzz, so we trying to we trying to we trying to make noise this year for real. Right, I listened to your podcast with, with Biggins and yeah, uh, yeah, talking yeah. about you starting out as an offensive lineman in Pee Wee yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And just the different positions you play, and right, and that's Pee Wee is a lot different. But yeah. how much do you think that's helped your just your base knowledge of football, having played so many different positions coming up? I feel like it helped me a lot, you know, especially have especially my learning curve. It helped my learning uh, learning curve a lot. So um, playing playing all this all those type of positions, understanding what what their responsibilities are, what they have to do, and everything like that, it just helped me become the player I am today. Always trying to still learn stuff. What are you working on? To what are you trying to learn uh, going forth this season? You know, just like my, my whole thing is off the field, just being a better leader, and on the field, you know, just working on my press game. I feel like I got I lack that. Um, that's something that I've been really lacking this over the past couple of years that I want to get back and, and be dominant at. So 